What's going on, guys? It's Jazzy, and I'm here with Mr. Usher. Mr. Usher, how are you doing today? How you doing, Jazzy? How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Loving New York City. The weather here, you know, it's been a, it's been a, a really incredible day, and now it's an amazing night. Yep, definitely. I mean, look at the view. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Have you told them where we are? Oh, we're at Rockefeller Center. And we're Rockefeller Plaza and the, yeah. for the opening of Flipper's Roller Palace here in New York City. This is a major, major moment. You may not know about the history of Flipper's, but they started in the 80s and actually was in, were in Los Angeles. So this happening is a major, major moment in history for the people who were part of that, as well as all of the new skaters from all around the world who came here for the opening. Now, do you know how to skate? Uh, I got to skate a little bit. You know how to skate a little bit? A little bit. So, so if you get a chance to get out there and have, have fun, you know, of course, inviting people to come here because it'll be open from here on out. Yep. As long as you're in New York City, no matter where you're coming from, you'll be able to come here and skate. So you come back here as many times as you want. Tell them I sent you. Yeah. And they'll take care of you, all right? All right. Well, how were your role models growing up and how did they make an impact on your career? Uh, my role models um, as a kid were people who entertained and I didn't know them personally, you know, but I, I learned from what they did. And then, of course, I had like my coaches, my aunts, my uncles. Uh, my mother was a great supporter of mine and probably one of the biggest supporters of me. She was my manager. I saw the passion back then. To see him doing the things that, that he's doing now, you know, he has influenced an entire generation. And, um, you know, really fueled everything that I wanted to do. If I, if I wanted to sing, she gave me a microphone and clothes and, and whatever I needed to do it. If I wanted to perform in talent shows, she was there to support me. So she was kind of a motivator and a manager and a mentor at the same time. Wow, that's incredible. You have so many people going into your life and impacting your career. And look at you now. Your mother definitely taught you right. Yeah, yeah. You know, I can remember back to when I first started. I was a lot like you. <laughs> you know, I, I'm pretty sure you you decided, you know, this is what I want to do and I love doing it. Yeah, I did. If anything, I try to encourage kids to find something that they're passionate in and then they have to follow it. They have to, you know, put in action what they want to do. If you say you want to be a journalist, if you say you want to be a personality that does this, you can do it, right? Right. Because look, you're doing it. Yeah. Here we are here in New York City, Rockefeller Center. Here and we're having a great time. Yep. Well, so I know. Okay, so they're opening a skating rink here in Rockefeller Center, which is super cool. How is skating impactful in your childhood? Skating as a as a thing that I just love to do gave me a place to be, so I wouldn't get in trouble, and I could also to meet up with my friends and have fun, and then also to learn really, really, you know, cool styles and things to do that allow me to dance and and really enjoy the music. Uh, it impacted me because. This culture, the place that we that we we do this, everybody can come here. And no matter what age you are, you feel like you're a kid again. If you were skating when you were young, or either you're skating as you get older, it allows us all to just just have fun. You know, if anything, everybody's trying to figure out how not to fall. So it so so it really is just about having a great time, and 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 it's been so important to me that I wanted to share it with the rest of the world. I know you guys have seen me skate, or either you seen me or heard about me skating. Now we're opening flippers here and the world knows and you're welcome to come here no matter where you are wherever you are looking at this i want you guys to come and join and have a good time it's here it's open forever now yeah skating is super fun and and when you're skating your goal is just trying not to fall and not you know and trying to learn how to break right right how to go as fast as you can you know and then hopefully not fall yeah if you do you know what you get back up it's yep. life. that's how life is right right so I know I'm, I'm only 11, but you know, I saw a couple videos of you dancing, uh, you know, like 20 years ago. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie, guys. He's actually pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Thank, thank you for that. <laughs> no problem. You're actually like, you know, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. give you a run for your money on skates, though. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what, guys? He's not pretty good. He's like really good right now. Some, do you listen to some new music that, you know, came out like for Gen Z? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. You know. 
this is a cool thing about uh, skating and styles, right? That it's based off of the region and the place that you go, right? But it starts with the, the, the styles of the music. You know, rather we're dancing to Migos or we're dancing to Ludacris, which is a little bit older. Um, you know, but, you know, it's, it's to me, music and skating go together hand in hand. And no matter whether you are in Chicago or you're New York, New Jersey, I hear they got really good skaters. Everybody has a really specific style. So, you know, the music, sometimes it might be older and there's a style to go with that. And then there's some new songs and there's a style to go with that as well. Yeah. Well, you're definitely right. And who's your favorite new artist? My favorite new artist? I don't know if I have a favorite, but, um, you know, I really do like I don't know if he's a new artist, Justin Bieber. You know him? Yeah, I know Justin Bieber. Yeah, Justin Bieber is. Okay, yeah. Cool. You know I discovered Justin Bieber, right? I know. I know. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> shameless plug. It's a shameless plug. Now, um, I really do like Lucky Day. Uh, you know who that is? I think I heard about him. He's a pretty cool artist. He's a pretty cool artist. Yeah, I heard about him before. Yeah. Okay, cool. I like uh, Twenty One Savage. You know who that is? Yeah, yeah. You know Twenty One Savage. You know it. I like the Migos. You know who that is? Yeah. All right, cool, cool. Future. <laughs> Futures are really, cool. They're not really new yeah, they're not really new. They've been around for a Who's you know. Who's your favorite artist? I like Bruno Mars, you Doja like Bruno Cat. Mars. Doja Cat, yep. Um, I Megan the, Stallion. Yeah, Megan. I uh, listen to some of her music. It's not really for me sometimes. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> and um, I'm not really sure. I just listen to a lot of R&B and stuff. I listen to some of your music too. So what kind of R&B do you like? I like you know like kind of a mix between like R&B and hip hop. Okay. Like um, I like your songs too. Um, I my favorite song by you is "Make Me Wanna" because like it's a very great song. Yeah. I just love like the beats between it and stuff. It sounds really awesome. I'm happy you can enjoy it. I'm happy your mom lets you hear it. <laughs> don't tell her. Don't tell her. Don't, don't tell her. You know what? She, she doesn't know still. Don't tell her. <laughs> so to everyone watching my show, can you please share some words of motivation? Some words of motivation. If you find anything in life, it is to find your spark when you find a spark something that you really really love be committed to it know that you have to work hard know that you have to believe in yourself so whatever that may be if it's as i said what you're doing right you're 11 years old i look forward to meeting you when you're 21 years old and you're going to be an incredible journalist or you or whatever it is that you may choose to go and what may choose to take this into if you maybe become you know a host you may have your own television show but I say this, the motivational words for everybody that's watching, find a passion if you find anything in life and then pursue it, follow it. And no matter what anybody else says, stay committed to it. Boy, you're definitely right. And thank you so much for your time. You're so wise. Thank you. No problem. So guys, I'm here with Mr. Usher and we're having a great time here at the skating ring. We gotta get you out there. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm about to get out there, you know, show him some of my skating moves. Hey. And we're doing great. Until next time, jazz and out.